Well, I'll move, move that we open the meeting at 3.05. Second. Or no problems with that. Very good. Um, and on today's agenda, um, the first item would be to review the prior meeting minutes. Mm -hmm. And I will pass those down. You both have pens? You? I have a pen. I brought my own pen. I did very good with it. Sure. Your minutes, yeah. And we did that. Yeah. Bravo. I don't think we had an executive session last week. No, we did no. not. No. The time of year. Mostly, yeah, not mostly for abatements. So. Okay, abatements, ex exemptions, if any. Yep, I am going to pass Whoa. you. All right. The cover sheet first. Yep. Procedures, and then I'm going to pass the packets. And then each packet will require a signature on each portion. So I'm going to just crisscross them so we can see which ones. Oh, that's good. Make sure yeah. we get the. Where are the pages? Uh, and we do have a one small, and we'll leave it on top order of housekeeping. They were. Uh, Accepted at the last uh, and approved at the last meeting. However, we missed signatures on one page. Oh, okay. So this is from the last meeting on the top. Uh, never perfect. Nope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have. Yep. Yeah. I gotcha. That's the missed one. Last 
item that I have is to review the presentation for the classification hearing. Yep. And I'm realizing that I did not bring copies. If you just give me a moment, I'm going to run out to the hall. Wasn't well, that the one that you sent us? I did. Yeah. So you've already, you've already right. perfect. Okay, yeah. so I already so did. I did do that. We're going to get my, my one, you know. And I did. I made the one that where, where I, you yeah. know, I tried to go through and change all selectmen to select boards. Yeah. It should be. Yeah. Um, other than that, as you've seen, all the numbers add up. Um, and. I know we talked about numbers. That's why I brought it up, you know, specifically, you know, adding up numbers. Didn't know if you had any questions on uh, anything or any other. Uh, no, it all did. Any other points? Nope, I was no. good with it from beginning to end, pretty much. Yeah. Did you do good job. Yeah. I did have a question. What I, what basically does this mean? What is what is this presentation? How what is the details of it? How many pages? And yeah, I, how yeah, do you arrive at? I, I can provide you a copy. Yeah, could you send yeah, it? I, yeah, by email would be great. Yeah, absolutely, I can do that. Uh, um, Jim, what is that? Uh, it's, it's Jim Moran underscore 959 at hotmail.com. Jim, spell your last name? M-O-R-A-N. So if I have this correct, it's J-I-M-M-O-R-A-N underscore 959 at hotmail.com. Yes. So what this, uh, the, I'll, I'll email that to you. So what it is, basically the classification hearing allows uh, the, uh, the select board to you know, vote on uh, various items that can impact the tax rate. And what I, my job is to provide them with the information on uh, and tools to be able to do that. And basically, you, you know, what there are, the four items are shifting a tax rate from residential to commercial, what they call a split rate. Um, to provide an open space discount, whether or not there should be a discount for uh, land classified as open space, to allow for a residential exemption uh, for properties uh, that are owner occupied within the community, and uh, a small commercial exemption. So those are the four different items and what they, they can do and how they can be voted on and how they can impact the community. Is this a change to present business, making recommendations to improve? Or is it the same that would just continue? The classification has been the same, I believe, since like the 1980s on what you're allowed to do. Um, when, you know, once the ad valorem taxation kind of came into place in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. So uh, the presentation itself is very similar format year to year. It's updated really with the health or the, let's say, the levy of the community. Where we are, what we're generating through real and personal property taxes, what the tax rate is, how it impacts the average, you know, single-family home, and so forth. And business, and you know. Oh yes, yes, yeah. I'm just saying, yeah, because our we're predominantly single-family homes. Oh, that's why absolutely. I said that. Yeah. yeah. Does it come to a conclusion to recommend to the board the rate? The rate actually is not the conclusion, and the what is proposed to the board is whether or not to split the rate, whether or not to opt for an open space discount, whether or not to opt for a residential or small commercial exemption. The rate is actually the last thing that's decided, and we can back into it ourselves, but it is not approved by us. It's actually approved by the Department of Revenue. What we are certified on a form called the LA-4 is the total value of the community. Mm -hmm. That, whatever the total levy, of the, uh, whatever the, the total taxes of the community that needs to be raised, and then minus you know local receipts and, and sort and so whatever we need to generate through real and personal property taxes is how much the tax rate is would be so that's you know how that that number back into we can't just pick a, a tax rate sure ultimately confirmed by the state of Massachusetts yep Department of Revenue right. yeah. did they approve it or confirm it they approve it okay so they're approving and that's the rating how long will it take them to get back once we submit everything which is known as the recap. Um, they typically, if there's always no issues, usually know within a week. That quick? Yeah. Okay. Will that be the rate that will be applied to 2022, or is that pushed to 2023? Or? No, that's the rate for 2022, fiscal 2022. Yeah. So from June, uh, July 1st of 2021 through June 30th of 2022. Okay, so that will be the rate. Correct. That is, so properties are adjusted in value and rate fluctuates, and so taxes are adjusted accordingly. In what you send me will be the total valuations in the different categories? Yep. Okay, how many pages would that be? I have an eight page report. Eight, eight pages. Yep. Yep. 
Cool. That goes over the whole presentation. Um, but if you're looking for specifically just values, I, that's that's on our what we call the LA4, and that is not as part of this. I can I can submit that to you also. Yeah, would you give it yeah. Would you send along an LA4 yeah. for me also? Sure. Uh, that'll be great. Thank you. And the board essentially, the, the board of assessors makes a recommendation to the select board about you know what we think would be a good way to do things. They don't have to accept our recommendation. They make the ultimate decision. Sure. So in terms of you know having a split rate or a residential exemption and all that kind of stuff, you know we can tell them what we think and we can back it up by showing them numbers not only as things are but as things would be if we made any changes. Did you have any other questions? No, I'm good. Because if, if not, we have uh, a very quick meeting today. And yeah. yeah. Essentially, uh, that would be it. And we can you know, go ahead and... And the classification hearing is when next week? One week from tonight. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, the 9th at 7, 7.15. And I know Bud was planning to be there. Yeah. As, as he always is. Yep. Um, um, yeah. So schedule our next meeting? Yes, so I would recommend the uh, first. The seventh? Is that the Just the first Tuesday of December. Perfect. Three uh, o'clock? First Tuesday and then at 3 p.m. Yeah. That's good for me. Yeah, I like the 3 p.m. I do. I, I, I like not having to you know, fight my way through the dark. Yeah. That'll be the last one of 2021. Yeah. That's right. Mm. Looks quick. It does. I know I was I had uh, I was late in scheduling my boiler cleaning for my house. And the first day they could give me was January, and I realized, well, oh, it's not that far away. Not that far away, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's New Year. So do you want to close the meeting? Without any other business in front of the board. I move that we adjourn. Second.